Tonight on CTV News, we take a look at the reusable food containers on campus. Then we'll talk CSU sports with Brett Kennedy and Olivia Landis in your CSU Fast Five. Entertainment anchor Molly Baltzer finds out the favorite candy of CSU students, then makes a treat of her own, starting now. Thank you for joining us this evening, CSU and Fort Collins. I'm Bailey Leakey. And I'm Kay Bennett. The Fort Collins City Council has unanimously voted to allow breastfeeding in public Tuesday night. They also voted to ban toplessness for women over the age of 10. The proposal to allow this came from activists in the community who believe allowing the behavior helps gender equality. Colorado State University's Leave the Plastic Plant a Tree campaign has had major success this past year, saving more than 32,000 plastic bags from use. The CSU Bookstore has also raised $1,500 to help the university plant five trees for Earth Week this spring. The trees will be planted near Danforth Chapel on the Oval. Biz West announced this year's 40 Under 40 list, recognizing the brightest emerging leaders who make a difference in their community and organizations. Today, we have two honorees on the list who are a part of our RAM family. Social media is a fun way to express yourself. The conversations are always rolling in social. But for Kimberly Stern, it's her job. Her team runs every social media platform for Colorado State University. Every single day we have the opportunity to reach over, it's about um, half a million people. During the social media boom back in 2009, her coworkers looked at her for guidance. Honestly, because I was just the youngest person on my team, it was like, oh, you, you know Facebook, the Facebook. Um, maybe like, kind of keep an eye on that. And that became my thing. Since then, her hard work has paid off. 17 of the best college Instagram accounts. Number one, Colorado State University. Yay! One member of Kim's team says that she fully deserves the 40 Under 40 award. People tell me who have worked with Kimberly in the past or who work here now, they say you'll never have a better boss than Kimberly. So, I love it. She's a great leader, she's a good example, I'm learning a lot from her. As if one person representing CSU isn't enough, John Durkin also received the award. These two hardworking staff will be honored at a 40 Under 40 ceremony November 3rd at the Fort Collins Country Club. I love my job and what I do for CSU. Before the interview, Kimberly posted a Facebook video of CAM24, and 30 minutes later, it already had 248 views. Clearly, she's doing something right, or our new CAM baby is social media gold. Either way, congratulations to both Kimberly Stern and John Durkin. The Colorado Department of Transportation is advising drivers it's roadkill season. October, November, and December are the worst months of the year for wildlife crossing the roads. In 2014, we had 114 such collisions, ranking Larimer County 12th out of 64 counties in Colorado. The most dangerous times to drive are between 5 and 8 a.m. Your Choice Colorado has announced its campaign today to get beer and wine sold in grocery stores with higher alcohol content. In the state of Colorado, wine and beer are sold at lower alcohol content, known as the 3-2 beer. Critics say the proposed change would hurt small liquor stores because alcohol would, with higher content, could be bought anywhere, taking their business away. In an effort to avoid putting trash into the Larimer County landfill, CSU is trying something a little different. Every day, busy students grab food on the go from the campus dining halls. I think I got to go once. I had a lot of friends who did. A majority of students use the compostable to-go boxes that the dining halls offer. However, there is a less known to-go system that allows students to check out reusable containers. So every single dining center has it at the meal station check-ins. Um, when you first go in, you swipe your card. Uh, you can ask at that point in time, just say, hey, I want to get a reusable container, um, and then there's a little process you have to go through to sign out, um, CSU ID number, things like that, and then they'll give it to you. Even though the popular to-go boxes are compostable, a majority of them end up in the trash can. Reusable containers are a way to prevent this issue. Reduction of landfill, you know, all of the to-go containers, uh, the compostable ones at least, they do have locations where you can bring those back. Um, so Durrell has one. Um, Ramshorn has one, Allison has one, and we're looking to expand this year um, with those. But a lot of students don't like to bring those back. Um, they tend to just throw them away and it sort of sends it to the landfill, um, which is not a great thing. 
Um, so we offered this reusable container program obviously with the hopes of dramatically reducing what we're sending to the landfill. One student believes the system is a great way to make CSU more environmentally friendly. I think especially since CSU is ranked like the number one greenest university in America, it's using to go containers that are reusable would be our way of upholding that. And especially, I mean, being more environmentally aware is a good thing too. And just doing something as simple as using those containers is a good way to participate in that. You can check out reusable to-go containers at any dining hall on campus. All you need to do is bring your student ID and sign a form. Madison Sloan is up next with your weekly weather forecast. Stay tuned.